Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this interesting problem. We have been given a circle of radius 5 root 2 centimeters and we also have been given that AB is 6 centimeter and BC equals to 2 centimeters. We need to calculate what is the value of OB. So what we will do? We will extend the AB so that it will become a card AD and we will try to divide that into two equal parts by drawing a perpendicular from O. By the way, I have done this video and I have forgotten the mic. This is the same video like same time I did like earlier video. So I have forgotten the mic. So I am trying to give the voice over so that you can understand the problem. What we are doing now, we are joining O to A and O to D. We will also join O to B and O to C also. Now, we know that OA equals to 5 root 2 centimeters. And we know AB is 6. So, we will take BD as 2x. So, that we can divide the length AD 6 plus 2x into two parts, 3 plus x and 3 plus x. In that scenario, AX will be 3 plus X and BX will be 3 minus X. Now you can see that we have two right angle triangles, triangle OAX and triangle OBX. Both of them have common OX. Let us say that is our H. Now try to apply Pythagoras theorem and try to get OB in terms of X. So let us write down the Pythagoras theorem in triangle o, AOX and BOX. We can say that h square equals to 50 minus of 3 plus x whole square from AOX triangle and from BOX triangle we can say h square equals to OB square minus 3 minus x whole square. Let us equate h square terms. We have 50 minus of 3 plus x whole square equals to OB square minus 3 minus x whole square. When we simplify, we will get OB square equals to 50 minus 12x. Or can we say that OB equals to square root of 50 minus 12x. Now what we need to calculate is OB and we got it in terms of x. If you take the triangle OBC, we know what is OB, we know BC, we know OC. OB is, we just calculated square root of 50 minus 12x, BC is 2 and OC is the radius, so that is equals to 5 root 2. Now only the thing missing is angle OBC. If you are able to get angle OBC, then we can use law of cosines there. But we know that angle OBC is 90 degrees plus angle OBX. And let's say angle OBX is theta, then we can easily find it out from triangle OBX. From triangle OBX, we know that sin theta equals to H divided by OB or cos theta equals to 3 minus X divided by OB. sin theta equals to h divided by OB. Now once we know sin theta or cos theta, now you can go to triangle OBC because by if we apply law of cosines, we have cos of angle that is cos of 90 plus theta which is minus sin theta. There we can apply law of cosines. So, let us just write down triangle OBC and just we know this angle is 90 plus theta yet B in the triangle OBC and we know the values of OB, BC, OC. Let us apply law of cosines because we know BC is 2 and OB is square root of 50 minus 12x and OC equals to 5 root 2.
So when we apply law of cosines, we will have cos of 90 plus theta cos of 90 plus theta is equals to OB square plus BC square minus OC square divided by 2 into OB into BC. OB square plus BC square minus OC square divided by 2 into OB into BC. What is cos of 90 plus sin theta? That is minus sin theta. But what is sin theta? H divided by OB. So, I will just write down minus sin theta or minus H by OB equals to OB square that is 50 minus 12x plus BC square that is 4 minus OC square that is 50. 50 and 50 will cancel. And denominator we have 2 into 2 into OB. I haven't written I haven't written OB value in denominator because I know they will be cancelling it out. We have minus H equals to 50 50 cancels out on the right side. We have 4 into 1 minus 3x divided by 4. 4 and 4 will cancel. You get minus H equals to 1 minus 3x. Or can we say that H square equals to 1 minus 3x whole square? But what is h square? h square is 50 square, 50 minus of 3 plus x whole square. We have written it earlier from triangle AOX we got it. h square equals to 50 minus of 3 plus x whole square equals to 1 minus 3x whole square. So let's write down 50 minus of 3 plus x whole square equals to 1 plus 9x square minus 6x. Minus 6x will cancel on both the sides. You get 10x square equals to 40 or x square equals to 4. That will give us x equals to 2. Once we know x equals to 2, OB is given by square root of 50 minus 12x. That is square root of 50 minus 12 into 2. That is equals to square root of 26. Now that's how we got OB value as root 26. Certainly there will be more than one way of solving this problem. This is the way I was able to solve it on my own. I think it is the correct solution. So if you got any other answer or you see any wrong steps in